Hello everyone, my name is Jennifer and this is Coloring <laughs> Bliss and we are so excited to have you here today. It is a special day. This is part two of our weekly live event. The first part is over on Facebook and we are here today with you on YouTube. We are celebrating Mandala May still and we are here to talk about the Tim Holtz glass media mat. Oh, I keep getting that name wrong. Tonic I've Studios. got it right here. Yeah, it's by Tonic Studios, but it's a Tim Holtz product. We all like Tim Holtz products. He makes the coolest things. And Rose still isn't sure if she wants to sit over here, even though we've changed her pillow. So hopefully she'll stay. If not, that's I all right. I think I know what part of her problem is tonight. Oh, we do have a guest and I'm going to show you who we have here. Ta-da! The beautiful Polly! <laughs> and I keep looking at the wrong camera. I need to look at that camera. We have Polly here, the famous Polly. <laughs> infamous. Yeah, no, famous. <laughs> she is here and we are having so much fun with her. She's been um, having fun trying out these new markers and telling us all about her experience with this glass mat. Um, she's had it for since December. Mm -hmm. So she's had some good experience. She travels with it. Mm -hmm. And so she's been telling us um, whether she likes it, which sounds like she mm -hmm. loves it. And we're <laughs> kind of trying to decide, is this a good tool for colorists or is it more of a scrapbooker's tool or a crafter's tool or an artist tool? That's kind of the questions we're answering tonight and just playing around with with it and she's brought some goodies they're in a box behind us and she's also given me some goodies so that's kind of the plan for the second hour is to get out the goodies and play with them on the mat we've kind of decided the mat is really neat if you've got the budget for it it's around 36 dollars plus it has some um, bonus tools that you can purchase to go along with it so if you've got the budget and the space for something like this then i think it's probably a neat tool if you don't i highly recommend recommend getting like a ceramic plate that's what I have always had and it works really great I'm going to show you kind of why you might want something like a ceramic plate we'll do that here in just a minute versus putting your um, media onto like a piece of plastic a ceramic plate is amazing and so is this glass surface I'm going to show you the difference here in just a minute but first off, we need to do um, say hi to Steve and let him tell you who won last week's giveaway because we were giving away a copy of Volume 1 Mandala Bliss, which was printed on the beautiful color pencil paper. So Steve, why don't you announce the winner? Okay, the winner is Jackie Ireland. That. Congratulations, Jackie. Jackie, congratulations. Did she come on on Facebook by chance? No, I don't think so. Oh, maybe she'll come so. on to YouTube and we can tell her congratulations. What does she need to do, Steve? Jackie, please email me to support at Coloring Bliss your mailing address so I can get those sent out to you. Okay, congratulations, Jackie. That's awesome. Okay, which camera did you put me on, Steve? The main one. The big one up here? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so today we're going to start another giveaway, and what we're giving away are some kind of unique Windsor and Newton markers. I had two sets. One I'm giving away to Polly because she's so brave to come <laughs> and be on the YouTube channel. So um, Polly picked to have these ones right here. These are some metallic um, Windsor and Newton markers. You may be familiar with the Windsor and Newton brush markers. Windsor and Newton also makes pro markers. The brush markers have a brush nib and a chisel nib. The pro markers have a chisel nib and a bullet nib. These markers have two bullet nibs, one small bullet nib and one giant bullet nib. <laughs> Oh, did I get that right? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> okay. You did good. So um, she picked the beautiful metallic markers. And for you guys, for the giveaway, I have a beautiful set of the beautiful neon markers. They're water-based, as Polly figured out by <laughs> reading the package. And this is what they look like right here. Look at all of the beautiful neon colors that you get. So make sure you follow the link. Uh, did you put a link in, Steve? I did. He got it going. Steve is so amazing. He got it going. So follow the link and enter to win these six beautiful 
Winsor and Newton neon markers. So if you go follow the link, and uh, if you want to go learn about them over on Amazon, the Amazon link is a little confusing as what we're hearing because um, I think Amazon is sort of bulking a whole bunch of different Winsor and Newton markers together. So they're kind of giving information for like the they brush markers all and all of them, but these are not alcohol. These are water-based and we think these are water-based, but with like, yeah, it says, yeah, water-based, but they have pigment and I think they have, um, they might even have a little bit of acrylic or something in them. in them. Something, this is a very interesting creature. It's a little different. And we were playing with it and getting, Polly was getting some pretty cool things going on with her water brush and it was pretty fun. And we were putting it onto the glass media mat here and being able to activate it. And it was lots of fun. So that's the giveaway. Also, don't forget, because it is Mandala May, you can come and download the Mandala tool. ink. Yeah. So you can come and download the Mandala tool. Um, Steve, hmm. will you flip? Oh, I got it. You can, this is the mandala tool right here. If you want to draw your own mandalas for Mandala May, you get two pages and you can just come and draw your own Same mandalas. So that's, she's just determined to figure out these markers. That, that's it. <laughs> I that's know. very little information and on And Windsor them. and Newton's website's kind of lame. Have you ever been on their yeah. website? They don't have much information. Very limited there. information. It says it's a twin tip metallic marker. Yeah, and I'll show a you the bullet. A fine nib. Yeah. Enabling easily to create a variety of line widths. Yeah, let me show you what the, the nibs look like. They can be blended like. with water even when they're dried. One end has a teeny tiny bullet. And they say it's a pigment-based ink. And it then is a acid -free. giant one. So that's what these ones are like. They're not a brush, uh, Winsor Newton brush marker or a pro marker. They're their own creature neon marker and then there's these metallic markers so that's what we've got today rose. rose wants to get down again come here let's pass her down the row come here, here you baby go. dog <laughs> check a boy everybody <laughs> check a boy everybody <laughs> she's so cute <laughs> go see leia go yeah, Leia's here too that's your dog yes maybe she'll make an appearance later but she's leia, very come oh you you gotta come say hi leia Come say hi. Leia is Polly's um, best furry friend. She Rotten. is just a cute little thing. Tell us all about Leia. Leia is a Morky, part Maltese, part Yorkshire, and she is my service dog. She is so and sweet. And we are surgically attached. She hasn't made a peep since she got here. She yeah, is she's just quiet. Sweetheart. Rose has been crying and whining and doing all kinds of things, but you've just been quiet and a good girl. Yes, you have. And you're trying to get my clothes. Yeah, trying to climb into your shirt. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's tell them a little bit about this glass. Um, oh, you've got Rose on. <laughs> <laughs> Polly's husband has Rose on her, his lap now. <laughs> I'm getting all the his's and hers mixed up. I'm getting all confused. Doggies are girls. All dogs are girls? Is mm -hmm. that no. how it works? The, girl, the, dog, the doggies here are girls. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Oh, Carolyn just donated to our channel. Carolyn, thank you. Carolyn. Thank you. Oh, we might have like a two dog dog show at the yeah, end. She won't do anything. You won't do anything? You'll just look cute. That's all you need to do. Yeah, just look yeah, cute. I just take real good care of mom. <laughs> okay, Carolyn, thank you so much for your support of our channel. Steve will write down everybody's names that support us today. And we've got the amazing Polly here to help us learn all about this right here. I'm going to clean it off. That's the first thing I'm going to demonstrate is how easy this is to clean. We've got... I'm do um, half of it with the water and half of it with the... Oh, yeah. Because we've got water-based products on here. Let me show you. We can put alcohol-based products on here. This is an alcohol marker. You can put all kinds of stuff on here and it cleans off. This is just plain water. So I want to show you. Oh, look how, see how neat that look at is. That. It's running. It like just blends together and does you amazing can take things. paper and swipe it through. It's so cool to smush paper yeah, through. Yeah, and you can like lay your paper right on it and it picks it up. And oh, you should, there's YouTube videos that demonstrate it all. Um, but that's not why we're here. We're just here to talk as colorists. So if you also want to clean it using. Um, hand sanitizer. What would be neat is to do a smoosh paper and then doodle on it. Oh yeah, that would be really neat. 
Oh, we could um, just spend hours. Holly, Helen says your Hamsa <laughs> necklace is beautiful. Is that what it is? Okay. Thank you. I made it. I you didn't made know what it? it? Was. Yeah. Wow, it is so pretty. I didn't know what it was. Thank you for telling me what it is. <laughs> what kind of stone is it? Hamsa, whatever. Oh. What's the name of your... Oh, my Hamash? Is maybe, that what she's maybe, talking maybe about? It, like, Did you pronounce corrected. it? Corrected. Maybe it auto-corrected. auto-corrected. Like Hamash? Is that what That's she's talking about? That's probably what she was talking about. Oh, thank mm. you so much. I don't know why I'm wearing that. Mm-hmm. It's beautiful. Thank you. I'm glad you wore it. It has a chai in the center, which means either life or the number 18, depending on which context it's used in. Oh, that's cool. Polly is the one that helped me create the uh, page for Hanukkah. And she's going to also help me create another page for, for, the, Sabbath. for the Sabbath. And I'm really excited about it. So I'm, she's helping teach me all about it and learn all about and I'm just loving it. I'm loving to learn all about and you're that sharing culture. your faith with me. Yeah, which she is had interesting. dinner with us today and it was just so pleasant. It's just so much fun having you and your husband and your Thank sweet you. little doggy. We're around. enjoying this. We're having a lot of fun. Okay. We keep getting sidetracked by yes, I fun know. chatting and we're, we're supposed to be talking about this beautiful piece of glass in front of me here. I so. absolutely love my mat. So love like it, we said it, over it. on Facebook, she's had it for several months, and I'm going to hold it up and show you how it's doing. Um, because a lot of the reviews I saw on um, YouTube, they all had it like for, you know, I've had this for a day, and look how great it's doing. And I'm like, well, that doesn't count. I want to see someone who's beat now, on I've the thing. I've had mine since December, yeah. and as you all know, I live in an RV, and I travel. Yeah, and, and there's times it gets boxed and times it sits on the desk to travel. Yeah, so I'm moving it in the light. And like we've seen, there are a few little scratches in it, but they're just kind of they, cosmetic. They don't affect the performance. Yeah, so I'm pretty impressed because like she said, she's pretty hard on it. Now, she did say she's having a little trouble with some of the feet. It comes with a whole bunch of these little feet so that it sits nice on your surface. And a couple of them look like they've had a few issues. That's probably your biggest complaint, That right? is my complaint. That's my only complaint with it. Yeah, so that's not too bad. Um, so the idea of this work surface is you've got this area over here where you can um, lay your, your coloring page or like your card that you're working on. She made me some cards. So if you were making a card... Um, like, look at this pretty card she made me. You can lay it on here. You can center it. It has center points. It's got places you can cut on this thing. It has accessory tools that you can buy. It's got a sliding ruler. It's got a scrapey tool you can buy. All these types of things you can do. You can, over here is where you, you do your, like, your mixing. Mm -hmm. um, you put your um, colors. Now, I brought up um, the primary purpose of the little squares is to go with, because it's Tim Holtz product, so he's doing a cross promotion here the primary idea is if you've got his little cutesies here his distress ink pads you can put the colors into each square like that and then you can pick it up with whatever you want like a water brush and color with it so you could load up each square you could grab um, a marker and put some color in each square and have all your colors lined up and pick them up and just do all your coloring the alcohol markers on it. yeah you can do your beautiful alcohol markers your let's go no 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 I promised myself I'd do no purple while Polly's here there's your um, red alcohol marker so whatever media you want over here and then it's easy to clean up and that's amazing because it's the tempered glass and, and I like the fact that you're working on a white background yeah and Polly was bringing that out which is such an important thing you guys know I talk about wanting to swatch on a white surface so you can really see what your colors are exactly. going to look like when you're coloring onto white so Marilyn that's really says, important. beautiful card Polly I wish I was that talented isn't it pretty uh, Donna says, that's Love very that card. simple it's <laughs> The coloring I learned from this lovely lady. Yeah, it's all 3D. Look how 3D it is. It's a, it's a die, little... and I just you used simple, your techniques. But, see, I don't know how to make this kind of thing. And Bertie's yes. Miss <laughs> says, so love easy. the sunflower card. Thank you for using purple, Polly. Yeah, it's like <laughs> she made all these purple things for me. She even made me purple hair ties and... Look at all these cute cards she made. I'm going to show off a little bit here. Look yeah, at all I the guess. purple she added into these things for me. 
She's like now that is one of the most fun techniques. That's so cool. It's sanded. Oh, it's what they call a white core paper. Ooh. You run it through embossing, and then it, I take what's called a sanded gadget and just sand the tops of it. Wow! And I put some sparkle on it. Of That's course. cool. That's a double stencil. Wow! It's so pretty. So pretty. She made the boxes too, and oh, you've just been so busy for me. I'm so spoiled. Speaking of spoiled, I well love. I need to show. Oh, you're so sweet. <laughs> well, I'm not so spoiled. I'm allowed to be spoiled. You will trust me. Okay, let me make sure I get these in here nice so I don't hurt them. They're so pretty. Yeah, that's very what pretty. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay? Deb says, love the green and white and gold card. Uh -huh. Let me show you what else she spoiled me with. Right here. Ta-da. I keep looking at the wrong camera. This is the heat tool she purchased for me. It's one that I actually had in my Amazon um, wish list because... You guys know I've been struggling with my heat tool. Now, um, recently I also had another heat tool sent to me from another viewer. It's a different style though. So I have two now and I this the other one she sent me, I've got it in uh, the closet. So I have two to try. This is the one that I was actually going to buy for myself. So I'm glad that I have two styles now to try. So I'm kind of thinking we need to have a battle of the heat tools. And well, then we can look all right see. right here, it says... Quiet. And I want to and plug it, it in and see because um, I showed you mine. Uh huh. She showed me hers and she turned it on and I literally couldn't hear it when when she turned it on. So I'm excited about it. Oh, she's like, let me get into that for you. So you guys you know I've had else. trouble with this heat tool right here. It's by Celebrate It. I picked it up at Michaels and it works fine for like two seconds. And then if you turn it off and then turn, try to turn it back on and it doesn't. I don't know if it's just overheating. If I'm doing it wrong, I don't know. But it's not working for me. That's all I know. So I'm hopeful that this new heat tool she got me will work great. Yes, it damn. So when you get a chance, Jennifer, Helen asked, how do you paint with Distress Ink? So Distress Ink um, is basically just a water-soluble paint, if you think of it that way, in an so in ink there. pad form. So we're going to paint with it here in a second. Here's what this heat tool looks like. It's so nice and small. I love it. So I do think we need to have a battle of the heat guns. And I thought I could bring out my son's... Is the other one a cylinder? Um, it's, it's built like this one. So that's why the I think it would be good. Cylinders you have to be really proficient with. That's why I think it would be good to do a battle and see which one I like. Like for now, I use this a lot for embossing. Uh huh. And this does not blow my embossing powder around. Oh. It's very quiet. Let me get down there. Nope. You're fine. If anybody's going down there, it's me, not you. You're the guest. I'm shorter. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't want to stick my finger in yeah, there. Yeah, Amy says, looks like a tiny blow dryer. Yeah. Yeah, but you don't want to blow dry your hair with this thing. Uh -uh, you won't have any hair left. Okay. It probably will be extra smelly the first time. That's amazing. I'll put it right up to the microphone so you guys can hear it, and then I'm going to turn on the other one and we can do a, a sound comparison. Okay, so I totally think we're going to have a battle of the heat guns. I'm going to bring out my sons that we bought at Harbor Freight, <laughs> oh, and yeah. his will be one of the contenders. And that thing is a blow dryer. Okay, now here's the other one. See the sound difference? And it's working tonight. Yeah, it's working. It'll work now. But whether it will work again, like, in five minutes is Yeah, but you've got a new one, so it'll work. I know. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So now, thanks to Polly, we'll have this, and hopefully in the future we'll have a battle of the heat guns coming up. So thank you so You're much. Idea. <laughs> so I'll tuck this. I'll put the bad one in first. So, And then we'll put that one on top of it. Okay, so that's one of the things she got me. And then she also gave me her set of Arteza um, fine liners. Right? Yeah, mm -hmm. fine liners. So I'll be able to play around with these and let you know how I like them compared to some of my other fine liners. So that's fun. And then she gave me some things that I've never seen before. That's these right here. They are called Marabou. Marabou? Marabou. Marabou. How did you say it? Marabou. Marabou art crayons for mixed media. And we think they can go on here. Oh, I'm sure they can. So let's crack into them. And I'm not going to open the purples in honor of yeah, Polly. I told you, go for it. <laughs> we'll do the greens. 
So let's see. Water color crayons. High pigment water soluble wax crayon. Do you think these are available on Amazon? I do not know. They're coming. I know where I bought them. <laughs> they come out of Australia. They're coming out of Australia. Vivid Light Fast can be smoothly mixed for brightly colored blending and a watercolor appearance when combined with water. Also ideal for producing backgrounds, wipe stenciling, and stamping. Cool. Okay, let's crack into the greens. Amy Young says they have a full set of those art crayons. Oh, cool. How, I wonder how many colors they come in. Do you know how many? You've colors? got what they come in. Oh, ho, ho. I have a full set too, so I don't have to suffer from full no sets. No FS. Syndrome. Thank <laughs> you. Bless you. <laughs> You're saying, Polly, you're so nice. Yes. So sweet. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Daryl asked, are the Arteza Fine Liners permanent? I don't know. I'll let Polly read. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing I put my contacts in. <laughs> okay. We're going to get into here. Their packaging usually leaves much to be desired. Exactly. Have you noticed that? Have you guys noticed that with Arteza? They don't put everything no on their packaging. Robin says the trick with oh. the Ranger tool is hold it in place. Water based until ink. Hot. So. Water based ink. She's already pre swatched them for me. Cool. <laughs> So it's water-based. I love them. They're triangular. They don't roll. Oh, they don't roll. Do they have names on the colors? No. <gasps> my set, Shame I went them. through and I numbered them. And then I numbered my swatch chart. Okay. So I'm spoiled. I have the 102 piece All right. set. I'll do that. That's why you got this set. Okay. We got them open. Uh-oh. Are they all individually? They are. Okay. Yes, they're easy. There Very easy. Um... Famous last words. Very easy. <laughs> yeah, you're opening all of them. Okay. Okay, so someone asked how to paint with the um, distress inks. I will demonstrate that while um, Polly demonstrates how easy these are to open. <laughs> she is just opening them super easy. I think I need per Polly as a permanent assistant. I think that's what I'm discovering here. Well, get rid of the snow and I'll stay. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't like the snow. Then you better not live here. <laughs> okay, so this is a little patch of the Distress ink right here on the the glass media mat. This is the Tim Holtz by Tonic Studios. There's a link to it in the video description if you want to go and read about it and see how much it costs. Let me make sure this is clean. This. Amy says that they're... Uh Available open stock on dickblick.com. Oh, they are? That's awesome. Does she know if there's more than the four packs do we have? She says there were 24. Four total. times four is... 16. Thank you, So maybe Steve. there's two more now that they have. Or we'll have to go over to Blick and find uh, out. Yeah, I'm going to take Polly to Blick. Maybe we'll have to take pictures of us at Blick. I, I'm so anxious to go to Blick with you. Yeah, well, You're all open, dear. Okay, thank you. All right, this this water brush is not watering. One? I, I thought I got Steve. one out. Now you're the one telling Steve, excuse me. This one's not you working. Go, that one's got water. This one's lame. I know. I know. We, oh, here's the other one. Here's another one with water. I've got like thirty water brushes. <laughs> Oh, I've been you. collecting them because we're going to do that video yes. where I turn them into um, markers. I have a bazillion as well. Okay, here we go. Now we got water going. And there you can, the more water you add, just like with watercolor, the more it dilutes down, right? So the more you add, and then of course it acts like watercolor because it's now it's like a transparent medium and you can layer it up and get it deeper. Pretty flat. And okay. you can mix and mix them in. Of course, red and green are um, complementary colors. We're wearing <laughs> complementary colors. And it wasn't planned. It wasn't planned. <laughs> so if you mix those together, they'll neutralize each other and they'll make some sort of a browning, tanny, grayish, muddy color, which can be great and beautiful in shadows, right? Or it can look kind of nasty if you do them on their own. But in the shadows, it's beautiful. Oh, so. Jerry Brown just donated to us. Thank you so much. I so appreciate your support. Okay, did that answer the question good enough? 
Um, basically, this is how I do it. I, I have some sort of non-porous surface that I put the Distress ink onto, and then I pick it up with like a watercolor brush, and then you can put it onto anything you want, and you sort of can control the amount that you put it on. You can also pick it up with a watercolor um, type pen as well, like a Tombow or even a Crayola um, super tip marker. You can pick up that color and start to work with it. So that's how you can use these just like um, paint. And it's so great that you can multi-use these products. It makes it for, it makes your money go a little farther when you can use one product multiple ways. Speaking of the crayons, Amy said um, that they even have gold and silver. Ooh. Oh, I shouldn't have heard that. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if... Jan, I need more crayons. I <laughs> wonder if our Blick, our Blick is a smaller Blick. Um, <laughs> so hopefully they have them in stock. <laughs> uh, okay. I know who to fuss at. Here we go. This is, <laughs> we've got four colors in this pack. We've got sunshine yellow, kiwi, apple, and apple green. So here's the sunshine yellow. So it feels like... Lipstick? Yeah, like it's not like um, a crayon. It's softer is what it feels like. Shall we compare them to gelatos? Yes, let's get oh, out wow. a gelato. Um, Polly brought her gelatos for us to goof around with. I mean, do art professionally and seriously with. And I have these ones. And is this the kiwi? Where does it have the name on them? Right oh, there. right there. Kiwi. So, okay. Okay, sorry. I got to catch up on this, Jen. So one uh -oh. of Carter's friends, one of his gaming friends. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Named Crazy Cat came on. Uh-huh. Just donated $50. What? And says, with this $50, your son is now allowed to stay up an extra hour. I need for carries and Apex Legends. He has the potential to be the next streamer legend. <laughs> he bought my son an extra hour of playtime. <laughs> All right, I, it's a deal. I said, that's what I said. It's, it's a, a deal. deal. <laughs> for fifty bucks, you betcha. for fifty bucks, my kid can stay up an extra hour. What's his name? Crazy, crazy cat. cat. I don't know crazy the cat. Crazy you cat. got it. <laughs> I have to go ask Carter what his real name is. Okay. All right, so I'm putting it down. You can see it kind of goes down. A little crumbly. Waxy, crumbly, just kind of like um, an oil pastel kind of look is what it's doing. A of and we got one more color. Is Whoa, did I go out of order? Doesn't really matter. That's the apple color. And this is, I want to get them all. This is aqua green. Oh, that's a beautiful color. I'm kind of digging this color lately, this um, green is good. blue green kind of color. Greens are good. I've been pulling for it lately. Have you noticed I've been like coloring in it a lot lately? Can I'm looking around. Can you spell those marabou? Um, let me hand you this package. Okay, Steve's on the hunt for it now. He's going to go find it for you guys. You need more, Steve. You need all the colors. <laughs> full set syndrome in full swing over here. We need new fresh paper, too. I've, I've got so Why much don't we supplies. Just turn this over. Rose isn't here, so we're just gonna take Why don't we over. Just turn this over. That's yours, though. You're playing. So, we'll turn mine over. Yeah, you turn yours uh, over. Don't you have a paper right here, um, dear? Um, it's taped down to protect oh. that. Okay, um, gotcha. I'll get another paper. I got lots of paper. We we just got supplies going everywhere here. These are you the got, uh, gelatos. Okay. These are gelatos. They're also a water. Soluble, <laughs> water soluble product. I'll show you what they look like. They come in this little tube, which I appreciate. Um, it looks kind of like a chapstick type tube. And, and they come in all kinds. Yeah, they have like pearlescence. They this have one metallic. Metallic, of course. Yeah, here's her metallic set here's right the here. Brights. And they come with a sponge. You can use them and a brush and all kinds of. Yep. Nonsense. Yeah. <laughs> it's all kinds of fun. We're, we're not doing nonsense. We're doing um, serious art. Now, let's see if we can get this to go down. Now, I've seen them slice this stuff before. Yes, Have you, you ever can done slice that? it and mix it up with um, water and make a spray. Oh, so now this is going down much more crumbly than the marabou's. That's is my it? first impression. So that's And what's really neat with that is you can take a baby wipe and run it across the 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 surface of it the, yeah uh -huh. and then 
apply that to your uh, paper. Yeah, these are a different. These are much more like right, oily let's see what kind the of. Mr. Stitch do. This is so interesting. So Barbara says I don't have any. This mat is for Mr. My Sketch. Barbara says I don't have any mat for my desk, so I'm really interested in this glass mat. <laughs> our regular, I love it. Are regular mats just cutting mats that everyone uses? Okay, the mat I have that you guys have seen me use all the time is below this, and it's a self-healing mat that I just picked up off of um, Amazon. Oh, my that was Mr. Is. Sketch you just put down. Yeah, I didn't even know Mr. Sketch made them. So this is Mr. Sketch. It's much more like inconsistency like the marabou. Okay, let's wait. So yeah, asked, more. Can you pick it up with a Tombow blender? Uh, probably. We'll try it. I'll grab one so I don't forget okay, to test here that. Here is... We're going to test this both This is by them. Yobi. Another kind? Yep, that's and by Yobi. Helen okay. says, thank you, Jennifer. I bought all the inks, didn't know what to do until now. Oh, awesome. Okay, this is Yobi. I'm going to put that one right here. Make sure you guys can see it. Okay, kind of like a cross between the gelatos and, this and is the marabou. A colorific gel stick. Wow, you have lots of these. I'm a spoiled brat. Well, you're you're, you're worth every penny, <laughs> every Thanks. every supply. Which colorific? Colorific, yes. Oh, right there. I just didn't rotate it enough. Colorific Worth gel stick. Okay, make sure this is in. Okay, we're gonna activate all of these and see what they do. So they're all different brands. Fun. Okay. We can do Are art we science, ready? As you call art it. science. Here we go. And we're doing it all on this glass mat. So you've got your all your mixing and your colors over here on the beautiful white area. Now when you buy this mat, it comes with a like a vinyl with um, silicone. a silicone backing. So it sticks right in this area and you can peel it off and go straight on the glass or you can use the silicone. But you have silicone. to be very careful what you put on that mat because it will stain it. Right, so from what I heard, it's mainly the alcohol inks that are the big problem with the staining have you do you know i've not others? used it okay for, for the simple fact of the staining and i'm i want it pristine <laughs> i don't even okay. know where it is right yeah, now. yeah and i know you can buy replacements if you do stain it or lose it you can buy a replacement mat so now deb just donated and she <laughs> oh, says deb, love thank you guys you. and adore polly for coming up with the jewish <laughs> theme stuff yeah <laughs> I adore it too. I love learning about other cultures and be happy to help you anytime. Yep. Yeah. So she's gonna help me do another one here soon. So I'm excited to learn more and do it right. I want to do it right and not just okay. I'll fake it I'll and teach throw you. some things out and be like, there you go. I don't want to do that. So I'll teach you. <laughs> okay. So I have two tools we're gonna try. Cause someone asked if the Tombow colorless blender will work so okay. we'll see if it does and then I've got my trusty water brush pen if you're not familiar it has water here a valve here and bristles right on this end and the water can either just naturally flow through or you can squeeze it and force um, droplets to go through that's your options so let's um, activate the marabou first and I'm going to activate this blue way back here because it's got more pigment and it will show up better let's start with that because I want to try some mixing too eventually but I want to activate can do the all same of them baby wipes with the marabou oh, that, that you can do with these okay so there we go it's activating really easy oh wow look yeah. at that really easy and I've got a uh, Either a Little puppy up. hair or a th <laughs> from yeah. the. Okay, there's the marabou. I'm gonna hold oh, this isn't right that there. Pretty. Really pretty. That is lovely. So pretty. There's a paper okay, towel to wipe there's off. On. My my paper towel is really battle weary. <laughs> okay, now this was the gelatos. Yes. Let's see what it does. I'm gonna get that, a lot of water going here. That is cold definitely needs more water to activate you gotta have more water to activate that gelato i wonder if one of the other the metallic or the brights would do any different yeah Let's okay find out. it took more water to get that one going then this one uh-oh i've lost track the purple that's mr stretch mr sketch, sketch. okay sketch. which like i said i didn't even know they did a gelato type product. Ooh, look at that pigment. Wow. 
right, this well, is that's a, impressive. This is from the Brights. Okay, we'll try. We'll give Gelato another. Yeah, that's the Brights. Another try. That one feels, seems to be going down better. Yeah, maybe the other one was just a little bit dry. Could be. Time and to use this it. This is the metallics. Metallic <clears throat> purple. Victoria says, "Wait a minute! I have something similar to this. I bought at the ninety-nine cent store, and they work well." Awesome. And that's going down better too. Yep. Okay. Hmm. Make sure you go. Hmm. Okay. Ooh, pretty. Ooh, these two together would be so pretty. Okay, let's do the fluorescent one was... I can't remember. You tell me. <laughs> this one, was it? The Yobi? Yeah. Right. Shine Bright, it's called. Yobi. Okay, this they one's taking more water, too. So it's probably just, if it's a little more crumbly, a little more dry, it just needs a little more water, which makes sense. That uh, doesn't surprise me. Uh, Amy says that she found her Marabou art crayons at Hobby Lobby on clearance. They were only three dollars and seventy-four cents a pack. Really? That's a score. <laughs> I did put a link on here. It looks like right That's now they're shocking. around eleven dollars a pack. Wow. So yeah, that was a great deal. Mine came. Can I say where mine came from? Yeah. Uh, scrapbooking made simple. It's um, out of. Australia. Uh huh. I'm not sure if it's Couture Creations, does it? Oh, those are some really soft, pretty colors. So then you can start mixing. So if you like this color, but um, you maybe you want it to have more green in it, um, that's what this whole palette idea, the whole concept of this area <laughs> is, is now you've got some mixing room. So you could pick up some of the green. And you could just mix it right here, or you could come down here and do it if you want to try to keep these colors true. And do the mixing down here, and then go over to your, your project, your coloring page, your card. I keep looking up here, and I'm supposed to be looking right there. Okay, I can do this. <laughs> I'm a YouTuber. I can do this. <laughs> so there's our new color right there. <laughs> You're a hoot. You thought you were going to have troubles, and it's me that keeps having trouble. She's doing great, and I'm the one that can't follow you the are. camera. Deb, <laughs> Deb asked, Polly or Jan, do you know if there is any real difference between gelatos and crepas? Oh, yes. They're completely different products. Oh. Polly I knows. I don't What's the difference? crepas. So you, you crepas is an oil-based art medium. Oh, and gelatos are water soluble. Exactly. I know that. She knows the other. See? <laughs> <laughs> Teamwork. Okay. <laughs> so Nikki says I see a lot of colorists on YouTube using the gelatos for backgrounds. Mm-hmm. So well, I've used the crepas when I was doing uh, pergamana. Color it. So you can. Do you ever? Oh, look at that when it and goes straight. Oh, asked, drink and blink, dear. Rochelle asked, "Are the marabous like gelatos?" They do feel very similar. I was just gonna say they're quite similar. Yeah, I'm trying it straight onto paper now because I'm curious. I'm gonna try. Your lines may not disappear. Okay, that's. Let's see. And Suzette asked, mm. "Is there any white to mix with? Mix it with?" Ooh. I don't know. Not in the Marabou's. I don't know if gelatos have. Is that one there? Oh, Ooh. this doesn't have. Let's see what this is in the brights. Let's see what the metallics have. Now I've seen them use, um, looks like I've seen them use like a, a medium and mix. Metallic icing. Yeah, it's white. Well, that's cool. You know, our mediums right that we use. Am I in the right place? No. Uh -huh, you gotta go <laughs> more. There, the lens is right here, so you have to kind of come right here. I can't reach. <laughs> I'm short. There's the white, right there. Oh, you'll have to try doing that. Like, maybe even mix on the Tim Holtz thing. Okay. Or put nice. it on black paper. Or we could put some right here on the black so you can see it. And then let's try diluting. But they have like these mediums, right? That we've been using to prep our papers. And you can use these mediums. I've seen them mix yes. the mediums with this stuff. 
Have you done that? No, I haven't tried that yet. So that's something the mixed media artists do on YouTube, and I've never done it, but they'll like slice off a bit of the gelato. Yes, I've done that and mixed it with water and made sprays. Ooh. So I've seen them where <laughs> on a palette like this, they slice off a bit of a gelato and squirt or whatever consistency. This stuff's liquidy. But they have thicker mediums that are like a paste, and then they'll yeah. mix them together Do you have with a knife a, handy? Um, down here. There'll be that kind of thing, the spatula uh, thing. Yep, that's what they call it. Let know. me get some better medium. We're gonna get goopy. Wow. <laughs> and uh, Birdie's mixed media says. Holly needs to be a regular visitor. I know. She's just it's us. too cold and snowy here. I'm a Florida <laughs> girl. Amy says uh, there yes. are white marabous. Really? Oh. Marabou does have it. And Jeanette says that marabou stuff. is permanent when dried. Oh. Is our gelato permanent? Okay, see, so she. you can see her slicing off a, a hunk. We're using a, a wimpy plastic Zlimy, here. Ooh, that looks metallic. Unicorns mm. Club mm. Cute asked, what's the difference in between watercolors and these? Watercolors are watercolors. These are gelatos. And watercolors aren't creamy like this. Yeah, these have some. I bet they have something like this already started into it. it this there. is yeah. a Let's matte go. medium. <laughs> I'm not fast enough for. <laughs> Stop talking, Jennifer, and get mixing. Okay, okay, okay. I am the best time. <laughs> um, okay, this is um, matte medium, just by Dale or Ronnie. It's acrylic. Um, yeah, it's an acrylic. So it's thick. Um, I can't. There, now you can see. We'll turn on what. Let's see. Would it be uh, easier if I squished? There. Okay. All right. Now we're just going to mix this all she together. Wants to do it. Yes, she <laughs> wants. She's, she's like, curious. She's like, Jennifer, get out of my way. I'm, I'm arting now. It's, it's my show I'm now. I'm curious. <laughs> it's the Polly show. <laughs> it's the Polly Jennifer show. <laughs> um, Ooh. And we're using a really wimpy plastic. This is like cheapo plastic spatulas that I purchased. Like I think you get like eight of these spatulas together in a kit. Um, but it, it's making this. It's not mixing very well. Keep going. Yes, ma'am. Don't give up. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> Deanna says gelatos are permanent. Oh, okay. Thank you. Well, we're just all a huge community here. We're all answering it's each other's questions. getting mushy rated. Suzette says that Polly's going to take Jennifer's place. <laughs> Never no, no, happened. No, no, wait a minute, sorry. Polly's going to take Rosa's place. Yeah. You watch out. We'll put her right. We'll put Polly up here <laughs> on the rose pillow. And <laughs> for me to go sleep. <laughs> Look at. See? Now, what this does. Okay, so this you stuff. You want to put more goop in this? Yes. Now, what, what Amy enjoys doing is putting them on paper and blending them out together with water. Yeah. Um, Have you tried doing that with a baby wipe? Okay, there's more goop. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this stuff is... I'm going to hold it right here so you guys can see. This comes in lots of different brands. Liquitex <laughs> makes one of these. Windsor & Noon oh, makes wow. them. Yeah. Isn't it pretty? And you can add more. You could do different colors, make your own color. This is um, an additive that you add it, mix in with acrylic color to increase transparency and flow. Goldy color, see what yeah. happens. Keep okay, going. so so you BB you was. Mix. Uh, okay, I'll mix. I'll get some goldy color. BB was very creative. She says, "Jen, Polly, it's the Jolly Show." Oh, <laughs> I like it. <laughs> okay, you're finding. Yeah, that's a really good one. That one's stronger. <laughs> Okay, it was it's strange she, looking. Yeah. Oh wow, you're really starting to. Yeah. It is starting to mix in. Huh? Yeah. It's, so it's it kind of creates a, nice a, a paint is what it creates. All right. Um, so they make different kinds of these mediums. Some are gloss, um, and some are different consistencies. Some will be more liquidy. Some are going to be more pasty. So it's um, watch some of the mixed media Can YouTubers you sure? that actually do this and not just goof around like we are. Hey hey hey. <laughs> be because. Nice. They'll tell you like the actual ones that work really great. And then they put it through um, stencils. Which they I have a bunch for, here. Oh, we could do one. And yes, then, we can. Oh, and then they do it like on backgrounds. And, and they do it, they leave it gloppy like this and make it like 3D type textures. Oh, I love that kind of art. Yeah. Yes. That's what this is. This is what that's what it is. Oh, Steve hasn't even been on this lately. We're just having too much fun over here. Are we past our time yet? No, we still have time. Yes. 
Okay, we're just going to mix in. She gave me some gold, so we'll see how this changes the color. Oh, you could throw glitter into here. Mm -hmm. We didn't even try the gel pens. I promised someone, and we haven't even tried the... Oh, dear. You want to do a tree? A tree, sure. Okay, we'll This do is green. Tree. Green in honor of Polly. No purple today, people. No purple. And the great thing, again, we're working on this nice Tim Holtz mat, so it's not going I to um, die. I don't have to worry about my mat below here. Actually, I've been oh, having problems with my mat. Is. I need a set. Um, Daryl says, what about rub rubbing alcohol to clean it with or glass cleaner? Yeah, um, rubbing Rub alcohol works great or um, hand, sanitizer. hand sanitizer. And I picked up this bottle at Target for like 88 cents. Oh, that's an interesting color. Yeah, isn't it pretty? It went, it's going kind of mustardy. Now we can put more blue in it. Oh, I think it's pretty. Okay. I like it. Do you like it? Works for me. It's your color. <laughs> <laughs> Always me. Always Polly. Polly does everything. Polly this. Polly that. Polly's always getting into trouble. We need more goop. All right. What do you think? What do you think? I think we need more goop. Throw the goop in. If we're going to cover a whole tree, we need more goop. This is the stencil that Polly has magically um, brought out in her stash. And... We're oh, going color's to... changing there. Oh, it's got it going now. Now we're going. Where are we going? It's so funny because I'm feeling like we have to keep it within the white. Do you feel like that? Yes. Like it's the rules. Like there are rules to this. <laughs> <laughs> Steve's just got a grin and he's watching us. <laughs> I'm so happy yeah. we can entertain you, gentlemen. <laughs> Look at your husband. He's over there giggling at us. And your dog's just That says just it's asleep. lovely having you here, Paul. <laughs> As I said earlier, where do you think you're sleeping tonight, husband? Look at the different color. Like um, Barbara asked, but it won't remove glass, or sorry, glass cleaner won't remove Copics. I bet it would. Yeah. Glass cleaner typically has ammonia in it. Yeah, that's the dried Copic right there. Um, well, alcohol marker. Ooh, that is a pretty green. I like because it's... Isn't that interesting? Yeah. yeah. You want to mm. smear it on? Okay, teach me how. I've never done okay. this. Now, Jack says gel pins don't mark on the glass. Okay, we're so going to test it. That. Take it off. I'm short, remember? Okay, but I'm they armless. can't see you now. Well, how are we going to show All them right. this? Now, Daryl asked, once mixed, could it be used for dot mandalas? All right. Oh. I'll reach over Okay. You. I'll reach Come over Come on you. in here, Polly. Can okay, you all you're going to do is you slap it. Th well, you should oh, tape this here. down, but... I'll hold it. I'm your tape. This is all you do. Okay. Just smear it on. You know, like, a, like on a bagel? <laughs> yeah. This, this is an art bagel. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Did you Ooh. see that? No. What happened? It was globs, uh, pieces of, of, the, oh, of gold. the gold. Oh, of See what's happening? Ooh. And you just... <laughs> I'm turning green. <laughs> You're moldy? <laughs> You're not, you're not, you haven't done art at Jennifer's house until you've turned colors and oh, they have glitter on you. Oh, you're going to get out of my way. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's laughing at me back there. <laughs> my husband who's looking for trouble. <laughs> Looks like green baby food. <laughs> I was thinking green something else from baby. <laughs> Uh oh, your sleeve. Careful, your sleeve. Does it stain? I bet it stains if it dries perfect, per permanent. Can't talk. We must be coming close to the end of the two hours. My English starts getting bad. Oh, it's looking pretty. I can't wait to lift it. It's like the moment of truth. So how do you do the double stencil? You use an open stencil and then you put a pattern under it, over mm -hmm. that. Ooh, look at that streak of the gold. That's interesting. Margo asked, is Polly getting bossy? <laughs> She's allowed. Oh, yeah, you, you need a wet wipe. We need wipes. Or something. We need serious wipes. Need hey, Steve. It's a, wipe. <laughs> it's a wipe emergency. Steve. Okay. Oh, great. I've got wipes. Okay. <laughs> All right. And then we just peel it up, right? Yep. Okay, let me grab the edge. Are we oh, ready? Can you move it to the right a little bit? Sorry. I had to lift it up so we could see. All right. Drum roll. Someone drum roll me. I can't. I'm <laughs> icky. <laughs> okay. 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 Okay
Okay, here we go. Oh, we did I it. went off a little bit. Well, that's because you were stretching like a yard to get to the area. And look how cool. And there's the gold flag. Okay, I'll bring it up closer so everyone can see. Okay, there it is. Oh, there's wow. the gold flex and, and see my hand. <laughs> We've officially done art. <laughs> yeah. We are getting, okay. It's up under my nails. It's everywhere now. <laughs> It's going to be right there. That's why we had the paper down there. It's for when this happens. Because we get messy in the in Jennifer's art studio. But that that's how you stencil. That's, and that's why we have the glass mat down. <laughs> is so we can clean up. Look at that. I wonder how long it will take to dry. Do you have any guesses? However long it takes that acrylic gap to dry. Yeah. Jerry I says I do foiling with stencils like that. Ooh. Yeah, you can foil with them. You can do a ton of stuff mm. with them. All right. With this, you're just going to take it. Jack says sparkle pops do also. Sparkle uh, pops do what? He said something about sparkle pops. I heard. Sorry, sparkle. Jack, I missed the original. Okay, comment. we're going to hand this to Steve, and he's going to go put it in the sink. And yeah, that would be a good idea. Jerry says you guys are having too much fun. <laughs> Everybody's going to want to come visit me in my art studio. <laughs> I, I'm having a blast. Okay. I'm so grateful and honored that you've had me. <laughs> oh, we are just so happy to have you here. Steve, I need an assistant. Yes. And BB says, definitely the Jolly Show, LOL. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Steve, we have a job for you, dear. I'm going to take okay. this and put it on our we glass We mat. need to um, stick that in take a sink or something. All okay. of these tools, too. Right. And then hand me the trash can, and I'm going to show you how easy this is to clean now, up. I'm wondering if the baby wipe will just... Yeah, we're going to start the, fresh. The, the um. Oh, yeah. I wonder if it'll okay. take that up for you. Thank you. Okay, let's let's put this to the test. We have officially done what this mat was for, and that's get it really mucky, right? Oh, Jack says jelly rolls and sparkle pops do mark on the glass. Okay, Ooh. we're going to test that, like, oh, oh, immediately. Right there, right there. I see okay. them. Give me the trash. Let, let's put this over there so we can start to dry. Hey, we can use the new heat gun on it. <gasps> yeah, we could. Okay, put it back there then. Oh, we're just That's having me. way too much fun, Polly. Okay. Not enough fun. Good girl. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> oh, so close. That close. I was that close. Here we go. Okay, this is the Pentel Sparkle Pop. In case you guys don't know already, I'm very obsessed with these. Let's a see little. if it'll go on. Oh, do you hear that sound? That's a horrible sound. What if you just press tap down? Oh, yeah, no, no, the ink really flows. So it doesn't like to draw like you, I don't think you could write anything. Like, I can't, bliss. So it kind of writes. Oh, I'm getting green everywhere still. <laughs> <laughs> but there, it does go on. Me. Yeah, okay. So that I'm worked. Still green too. We wanted to test if we can pick up the gelatos with a Tombow. Let's test that real quick. Uh, somewhere along, uh, this was a gelato. Uh, picking it up, and yes, sir, we can definitely. Now, my question is does it muck up the nib? I should assume you could clean it the way you would clean any other color media off the nib. No? Yeah, it definitely stains the nib, which I don't care about. But does yeah, it muck it? It's well looked. Yeah. It looks like it comes off. It cleans off. So, yes. It's you a water soluble product, so it should come off. I've used it with a few things that are water soluble, and it like irreparably hurt oh. the nib. Yeah, it's not good. Yeah, so it is a good question, but it did seem to work. Okay, I think we can officially clean this and show everybody how great this cleans. And I am, I'm going to need a bath. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm turning green. You should have seen me after I cleaned. I refilled my Blick markers on this. And it worked so great. I had ink everywhere, alcohol ink everywhere. And my hands were blue because one of the markers, the ink, like, He's oh, back. it was terrible. Okay, so I'm going to start fresh. Okay, <laughs> here we go. I'm going to make sure I'm not going to add to the mess. Okay, good. Let's start with just plain water. This is plain water in the squirt bottle. Okay. And let's see, we've got gel pen, alcohol markers, gelatos, um, matte Can medium. Can you pick that gel pen up and color with it as well? Oh, 
We didn't even try that. And his paper right here. Okay. It's got a glop of green, but... That's all right. That's all right. Is this a good one? Yep. Oh! It's turning purple. It is. What? Interesting. Look at that. Wow. Was there purple in your pen? No. It came out clear. The water did. Huh. Now I want to try a purple undertone to it. I want to like try every single. <laughs> but no, we're not here for the the sparkle pop show. Look at that. Interesting. I bet all the glitter oh, is the gone. Shimmer. Is no, it gone? it's. Sh or was it wet? Oh. Let's let it dry for a second. Okay. Let's see what it does. So many questions. <laughs> this this board has inspired so many things. Okay, so we're going to start by spraying. We're going to clean this area up here. So if you get that accessory kit that comes with it, no, that you can buy Definitely. separate, it has a little spatula tool, and it's meant for cleaning up mucky messes like this. You also, can kind if of you get anything dried onto your mat, it'll scrape it does off. Does it? Oh, yes. cool. Yes. So that's what, you know, like if, oh, I'm too tired, or, oh, the baby's crying, i got to go take care of that, and you leave it, and you come back the next day, and that acrylic medium has dried solid on there, the next day you could use that scraper to help you get this mucky mess off. That's the point of that tool plus the accessory tool comes with um, that slider ruler we talked about at the beginning of the hour so that's what comes in that kit so i sprayed it with water let's see how well it does just with a paper towel nothing fancy just water this is all gelatos by the way so all kind of mucky nothing really easy to come off that's that, that was alcohol, alcohol marker ink. look at that with just water just water <laughs> No problem. It had to put a little elbow grease onto these, but it is coming off. So this is a little bit more difficult than our water-based inks, which is no surprise, right? But I could definitely get this all off with just plain water. This is starting to dry already. I could see the advantage of that scraper tool, mm -hmm. but I used one squirt of water there, and we got I'm that far. I'm wondering if a cheap spatula from um, the doll store would work. That same spatula we use for our gel pen smearing, I bet would work. Would do the same job. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, so Slimy Unicorns Club Cute asked, "Where what? do you get the stencils?" That was an awesome name. <laughs> oh, goodness, you can get them almost anywhere. Lo uh, Michael's, Hobby Lobby, Joann's. Uh, if you're a member of various online companies, they have them, too. Now everybody's talking about uh, get, getting in a van and carpooling over to join in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> that would be so much fun. Oh, my goodness. Hurry up. I'm leaving in two weeks, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it'd be so much fun. Nothing is definite about where when we're leaving or where we're going That's from here. That's the joy of what. RV life. It's your decision, right? Okay, we're going to try a little bit of um, the um, hand sanitizer. So the, the benefit of the hand sanitizer okay. over just plain alcohol is that it doesn't evaporate and dry as quickly. That's why people recommend using hand sanitizer over just plain alcohol. But you can do both. So, no big deal. So let's see, because this is really drying fast. That's definitely helping. Ooh, we're getting mucky again. It's coming off. Yep. Okay. Well, I think my final thoughts. Are we at the end? Oh, we have passed. My final thoughts. If you don't have the budget, I don't think this is a need. I think this is a Little luxury. luxury you want. I think you could get away with a ceramic um, plate. Or maybe uh, just a piece of glass. Yeah, we were wondering about that. Like if you could buy... Um, you can get them at the glaciers for very little money. Yeah, so I and think... Just put it uh, over a piece of white paper. Yeah, so I think there are workarounds... I think um, Tim Holtz has put a lot of thought into this. You could tell he has thought, you know, this is my epic ultimate work surface. You know, like with the blending area and the cutting area and all of that. So I think it's a luxury item. Will I buy one? I think I probably will. And I think I'll get the accessory kit because I think it's going to help me with lines. Will I be buying one right away? Steve will buy her one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um, my my problem again is, 
I, the glare for the filming. You guys can see that big reflection right here. And I think there's another reflection right there. So it doesn't <laughs> seem that bad to me. There might be other priorities for my art studio and other things I've had my eye on that $36 could go towards. So that's my only thought is would I rather spend my $36? And I think that's always the question we have mm -hmm. as people who collect art I supplies. Agree. Would we rather spend our $36 on something else? I have a ceramic plate that works really good. But you saw this big mess. If I had tried to clean this big mess up off of my other mat. And you couldn't have done that big mess on your little ceramic plate. No. Not as, so that's advantageous not as fun as, well. as what we just did, that's for sure. Because <laughs> my plate's only, it's a lunch plate mm -hmm. size. I would have to go buy a dinner plate. And where would I store that? I don't know. Oh, don't talk I'm, to me I'm about where would I store. <laughs> Jack, says, <laughs> Jack says, glare isn't bad. Get it. Hello, <laughs> Everybody's just like, just go buy it, Jennifer. I'm trying to talk myself out of it is what I'm doing. I'm trying to be frugal. Sure. All right, Lindsay. Cut it out. Yeah. <laughs> Make your and, heart uh, happy. Yeah. I think uh, do what makes saying, your yeah, heart the glare happy. isn't noticeable when you're working. That's good. No, it's not. And there, it's totally clean now. Yep. And oh, we'll, maybe a little bit right there. And what would you use? A little sanitizer. A little sanitizer and a little bit of patience. But I was talking. I probably could have been faster if I wasn't visiting with my friend Polly here. And I think I need to clean over here a bit better. <laughs> I don't know what I did. I don't know what happened over here, but there's something happened over here. Our guppy hands. <laughs> something happened over here. So I'm excited to play more with those marabou. I have to swatch them. Did how, dinner, dinner. how is this thing doing? Is it drying back here? Let's oh, look at the texture on it. Isn't that cool? And the shine. Does it stay shiny? Do you know? Yeah, it will. It's a metallic. I think. Oh, it's still wet. Let's, is one of them a metallic? Let's try my new heat gun real quick. Mm -hmm. Let's, let's, let's do it. Gun. Go let's for it, do lady. It. Oh, it's just so loud. No one can hear me. This is amazing. Just drive it down thing. That's amazing. I don't know if these are a metallic or what. People are actually going to be able to hear me. Yeah. Oh, that does get nice and hot. Yes, it does. Yeah. And that's and if your the other paper thing is curls, you can go from underneath and it will uncurl. Okay. So um, my mat is starting to warp. My gray mat under there. So you can heat set on this and it won't warp. Yeah. I've wondered if, if it's my it the probably I've been is doing is if that's is. what caused the warping. It's got one warp up in the middle and it's only a year old. It shouldn't be warping. See, that's one of the big advantages to this. You can eat on it. It's tempered glass. Mm. Polly should be a salesperson for these surfaces. <laughs> I can buy it, honestly. <laughs> so my pops did. <laughs> All right. Look at that. It would be fun to add some coloring. We could color some extra leaves around here. We could just spend another hour, I think, but... I don't think my body would be happy with me. Yeah, the, the shine is staying on there. Is it drying? Check the trunk. Oh, I should check down here there where it doesn't matter. Yeah, it's almost dry now. Well, that is just too fun. And look, it came back on. Yeah, I like it how <laughs> quiet it is. I totally expected it not to come back on when I flipped it on. <laughs> well, that's just really awesome. All right, so to recap, it's still Mandela May. Come get your Mandela um, drawing tool. Make sure you enter for the giveaway for the neon Windsor & Newton markers. Steve made that giveaway. You can come and enter it. Um, what else do I need to remind them of? Is that I'm it? Nice me. Um, <laughs> follow all the links. It's all there. Thank you, Steve, for um, following the chat. You're welcome. We have some people to say thank you to. Did you write their names down? Yes. Um, and we got to make sure our son stays up his extra hour. Yes. So thank you, Carolyn. Carolyn. Jerry. And Jerry. And Deb. And Deb are uh -huh. our donators this time. And so thank you. Crazy Cat. And Crazy Cat in honor Carter, of our son. You. Yeah, Carter was going to enjoy his extra hour of gaming. So thank you for that. And it's officially dry. 
and let's give it a second and try to turn it back on again. This I is our first it'll test. Come on. I promise. Is it, it's a poly guarantee. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> is it hot? Yeah. The end gets a little hot, but this part isn't. It's lighter mm -hmm. and way quieter. We were able to talk like normal. This is a definite upgrade. Okay, ready? Ah, the archangels are singing. <laughs> a dependable heat tool. How cool is that? Okay, I'll put it down there. That's why I told you not to get one. Thank you so much. And thank you for coming oh, on, Oh, thank Paul. you for having me. It's been a blast. So much fun. It was so awesome to have you here. So I feel spoiled to have you here. And you could have come with nothing, just your presence. Well, oh, thank you. Would have just been enough. And I feel extra spoiled that you got to let me use this mat. And you brought all these special things for me. And I just feel so loved. And thank you so much. My pleasure. Entirely. Mm -hmm. Thank you for having me. It was so much fun. So I am proud probably going to have to go to Blick with you and so oh, I'll absolutely. let you guys know what happens when we go to Blick. It's not going to be good. Not, it won't no, be pretty. <laughs> what are you talking about? We're not going to spend a single penny. We're I just, think, we're just I think gonna... Amy wants to join us there too. So. Oh yeah, Amy has met me yeah. at Blick before so you could meet another one of our friends. Honey, I have a credit card. What do you mean Ooh. not spend money? <laughs> <laughs> we'll leave the men home and we'll just go to Blick. <laughs> that could be very dangerous. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> all right. So I think we are done. So thank you again to all those who donated to the channel. Thank you for all your support. Make sure you hit a like and that you've subscribed. And make sure you watch the channel because I have that video that I've been promising you of the giant mandala that I drew. That's going to be coming on to our YouTube channel here very soon. Including, I'm also going to be filming a video where I color the giant mandala. Don't know quite how I'm going to color it. It's, it was drawn on watercolor paper. Maybe I should color mm. it with the marabous. That's a possibility. That would be kind of fun. Or do it while I'm still here yeah. and we've got all of these Lots other of we'll have to think about gel products. Mm. All right. I'll let you know what I end up doing. So make sure Everybody's you're Everybody's thanking uh, Polly and you and saying oh. how much fun it was. It was my pleasure entirely. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks again, everybody, and have a wonderful, colorful, blissful night. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye.